This video is on choosing copper fungicide. The reason we use copper fungicide is to control powdery mildew and other funguses. You can use it on trees, outdoor plants, and so on. Okay guys, so it's that time, it's actually past that time to treat our fruit trees. And I'm gonna use this liquid copper fungicide in a two gallon sprayer. And the reason I chose this um, brand of liquid copper fungicide, which is by Southern um, AG, is because when I compared the active ingredient, which is copper deammonia deacetate, um, it was 27%, and the other ingredients are 72. When I looked at some of the other ones, the uh, active ingredient was like in single digits like nine or ten or um, I know ten isn't a single digit but anyway they were lower than this 27.15 so um, I chose this one because the active ingredient is um, higher the content is higher um, in this one for what the tree actually needs which is the copper the acetate so this is the brand that I chose so it says in here um, to make everything short and simple um, four to six teaspoons per gallon this is a two gallon um, jug that I'm using I have it filled right up to the two gallon line um, so we're gonna go on the lower end since this is the first time and my trees are not that big we're gonna go with four teaspoons per gallon so that would be eight teaspoons per gallon um, I mean eight teaspoons for this two gallon jug so um sorry my working area is a mess but you know i've been dropping seeds i've been busy getting it in so anyway uh let me get those teaspoons so we can get this started okay so first and foremost it says shake the bottle completely before you start so we're gonna shake the bottle Okay, and I recheck just to be sure it was teaspoons and not tablespoons. It is teaspoons. So um, we're going to get those in. Got to hold tight because I can't hold the camera and put them in at the same time. <laughs> okay, so I just took my one teaspoon, poured the liquid in there, and dropped it into my um, sprayer. You take the top from your sprayer. Just stick it on down up in there and give it a twist. And now we're ready to go out and spray it on our trees. Okay, so to get started, it says that you spray these trees till runoff. So you take your sprayer and make sure that it's uh, pumped up. I got this sprayer from Home Depot a couple years ago, and I like it. It seems to hold a fair amount of liquid before it runs out. Let me make sure my pressure is on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see how this one... Put that sprayer on a mist. Want it to kind of mist on. Okay, so I'm going to spray this tree. The branches. The bark. And you want to cover the whole, the whole tree. all of its branches. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this. And this is my new golden, oh, I'm sorry, my pineapple pear that I just bought. This is my new Granny Smith that I just bought. Gonna do the same to it. And it says if you have any lower foliage, which is leaves, then you can cover them as well. 
but you mostly want to just cover your branches so the ideal time to do this is um, hold on I want this to mist more need some more pumping <laughs> Making me think I should have put it in my smaller mister. Is this coming out? No. Okay, there we go. better all right so you want to get both sides doing very good with my camera here but you guys get the point you can also spray this on um it's my little pomegranate tree we're gonna get her too we don't want any diseases on our trees okay this is our Foo you persimmon. Gonna spray her down. I think I'm gonna call him a, that a male tree. Just because I want to. Okay, and this is the nectarine. And as you see, this is a huge um, peach tree and it has plenty of blooms on it already. So I'm gonna spray the part that I can spray that doesn't have so many blooms like the base of the tree here and this is going to take most of my solution here but it doesn't matter as long as the tree gets covered This tree is very old. It was already here when I bought this property. And I'm actually not sure how old it is exactly. But long as it still gives me fruit, that boy can stay. The minute that it starts not producing, then we'll chop her down and start all over. Okay. Okay, so the trees are sprayed. Had to fill this up one more time. So I got all my trees sprayed. Had to break out the old handy dandy pressure sprayer here. This one kept acting up on the nozzle. And what do you know? This nozzle breaks off when I'm down to my last two trees. So, but I got it all done. They are sprayed. So if you have not, if you have not sprayed your trees yet with the um, horticulture oil or the copper fungus fungicide then um, go ahead and do so we're already late um, we're doing that already here in the south but this weather has been so freaking funky and our trees were freezing and then they got a big thaw out and they started getting leaves and blooms so we were late with getting that on so then we got to freeze again so this time i'm trying to get right there in the middle and get these things sprayed before they start branching off new leaves and new buds um all over the place so some of them have already done that and i'm late but either way it goes i got them sprayed and um we're off to a good start so hope the same for you in your garden remember copper fungicide or horticulture oil 
choose whichever brand that you that you may but make sure you're looking for the ones that have the highest um, active ingredients so there it is you guys get to spraying spraying those fruit trees if you want that healthy fruit spray those trees have a good one if you have not liked and subscribed to my channel please hit that like and subscribe button and make sure that you go up to the notification section so that you will not miss any of my new videos and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.